This is Benjamin, welcoming you to another God is a Geek hosted Let's Play. Thank you for joining me as we take a look at the combo centric title, Fairy Bloom Freesia. Heavily stylized, Fairy Bloom is an attempt by the localization team at New Media to appeal to anime fans everywhere. As the Fairy Freesia, players are tasked with protecting the forest through the series of beat em up style battles. Now, I can't emphasize enough how extremely simple these battles are. Normally I would take the negative approach and call them even tedious or mind-numbing, but somehow Fairy Bloom Freesia appeals to the optimist in me. Instead I opt to call them relaxing, almost serene. But still, simple. The game isn't complete without depth though. Complementing the button mashing is a light-hearted attempt at customization with an RPG-inspired skill system. Players can earn experience, which they can spend purchasing different combos and upgrading attributes. It won't keep you playing for hours on end, but it's just enough to keep the first playthrough enjoyable. As players go from stage to stage, which don't scroll and take place all in one frame, they'll be treated to dialogue-heavy cutscenes that capture all the uninspired anime archetypes a well-versed otaku could dream of. Fortunately, the translation makes sense and the characters are well-voiced. The team at New Media should be commended for their efforts in this regard. But mostly, hackneyed story and button mashing aside, this game should be played for its beauty. Crisp backgrounds and vivid characters make for a visual delicacy. Characters pop and movement is fluid. Honestly, sincerely and allowing for just a bit of hyperbole, this game is gorgeous, stunning, remarkably easy on the eyes, sexy even, and other such synonyms. The relaxed combos are rewarding as your button presses orchestrate a blossoming of colors, exhibit all the grandeur of a fireworks finale, and it's, it's really pretty. Final word, it's short, it's simple, it's cheap, it's pretty, and I like it.